Yeah, I guess. All right, we're rolling. You ready? All right. Johnny Atal with the World Herald here with Arthur Kaluma, the highest ranked recruit in Creighton basketball history, recent Creighton basketball history. What, what does that mean to you? You know, like there's some pressure that comes with that, right? How, how do you feel about it when you hear that label attached to your name? Uh, some live, I, something like I got to live up to, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it builds pressure, but at the same time, I feel like it's a great motivator. So I can't, I usually don't let the rankings and stuff get to me like that, but to be renowned as one of the highest graded recruits to come to Creighton, in the history is like, I work hard every day. Like, I got to make sure I get there. Got to make sure everybody else sees it as well. You're part of a class that's rated really highly as well. What have you seen from some of these freshmen that you've come, come up with? How, how have you guys sort of meshed together and what's it been like on the court? I feel like we relate well because we all work hard. We all have goals. We all have places that we want to be in life. So just watching them go, every, go in every day, work as hard as I am, Makes me want to go to war with them every day. Like, I know I'll go to them. Those are my guys. What's been the toughest part so far of preseason practice? Uh, probably getting in game shape. And conditioning is usually the hardest part of basketball most of the time. But the coaching staff here is great. You know, they get, do a great way of, like, implementing game-like like conditioning drills. So it's not just running up and down the court most of the time. It's five on five, you know, make sure you're sprinting up and down the court. It's good stuff, though. Yeah, that's one of the things Max says. He, you condition by how you practice because you guys run so much, running your offense or playing defense. Yeah. You get in shape. But you played over the summer, though. You should be in good shape, yeah, aren't I'm you? Yeah, I'm in pretty good shape. Okay. I, I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. But, you know, there's always another level that you can take it to. So you're just trying to attain that level. Arthur played with uh, Team Uganda, the national team in the Afro Basket Tournament. Made some history, the furthest Uganda's ever made in that uh, event, you, and you were the leading scorer for that team. What'd you take out of that experience? I mean, pros are on a different level, you know, and that's the level that I tend to be at. So, but knowing that I could bump with those guys and I'm able to play with them, definitely boosted my confidence and also showed me what I needed to work on. So, takeaway from that is just keep working hard, stay in the gym. You, you were the youngest guy on the court every night, I think. Yes, sir. How, how did, did that, affect your mentality at all when you stepped out there? Nah, at the end of the day, it's hoops. Age doesn't matter when you hoop. I mean, there's experience, but the way the style of the game that I play, I feel like I try to cancel out experience as much as possible. Like, what you may have on me is like, I'm trying to take it away. You might get me the first time, but it's not going to happen the second time. The first, uh, I feel like the first play you, well, attempted to make, I think you tried to punch on somebody, run, drive it through the lane, tried to dunk. To me, it stood out as like, oh man, he, he's fearless. Yeah. Were you trying to send a message with that play? Or? Yeah, of course, okay. you know what I'm saying? Uh, they kind of viewed me, oh, this young guy, he's gonna come out here, he's gonna be timid. I'm not timid, I play basketball. Like, this is what I do, and I wanted to show you that I'm here. So, I feel like that was a good play to start off the game. I should have made it, but. Close, might have got fouled, I don't yeah, know. Might have got fouled. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, well, you got about four weeks till the start of the season. What are you gonna try to work on between now and November 9th when you guys make your debut for real? All around game, learning how to play within the offense, style of play, just picking up the little things. So by the end of the time, like by the end of the season, we're a well oiled machine. Gotcha. Arthur Kaluma, I'm Johnny Atal with the World Herald. Thanks for watching. Yes, sir.